while since I made one of these videos. Um, and really the reason for that is because I didn't feel like I had anything interesting to share. Um, and lately I've been feeling more and more like I have something to contribute and maybe I should make my voice heard because my opinions might be relevant and my experiences can help uh, people, especially people that have similar situations to me or are trying to kind of get to the next level of progression in terms of powerlifting. Um, so to start off, uh, I'm calling this new series The Hunt for Progress because my goal really is to start transitioning into that uh, phase of competitiveness where I'm closing in on the top level of the sport. Uh, my goal this year is to reach prime time. And so these are some of the exercises and movements I've been doing to kind of uh, progress and grow. Um, and this is actually from a deload week, um, so nothing too interesting here, but I thought I'd highlight some of the exercises I really like to do. Um, the first being a Bulgarian split squat. Um, I like these because it allows you to focus just on moving one leg at once. Um, it's a little bit easier than kind of doing a goblet squat or something like that in terms of isolating one leg and the quad specifically. Um, you can see here on the screen all the kind of elements of this, um, but the main thing being you need to take it slow. Uh, take it slow and light and really just focus on contraction um, and really just succeeding in that movement. Um, the goal here is to improve your movement, not to neglect um, any issues you might already have with your movement. Um, so notice I'm trying to keep my torso angle more vertical or at least vertical for me, uh, which is going to be different for most people. Um, and then on to belt squats. I've really been loving these. Um, it seems like the new fad these days, but my goal is to build up my quads and it's a great way of doing it. Um, so I actually have a doubled green band here that's adding about 20 or 30 kilos, um, probably way more, but because it's really, really, really tight. Um, and so the goal here is to just build quads as much as possible without using my bands um, and just build explosiveness as well. Um, and then onto some deadlifts, nothing too interesting. This is just 675 for a set of four. Um, got a little bit of out of position here um, and really just pushed a bit too hard on these considering it was a deload. Um, but I've recovered well since then, so I don't think it set me back too much. Um, I kept my back offsets really, really light um, and just focused on recovery. I do like to keep some intensity in during a deload. I think that if you go too heavy, uh, if you go too light during a deload, the next week back you can kind of feel um, disheveled and a little bit weaker than when you first deloaded. So I want to keep the specificity up here um, and keep the intensity a bit higher. I can just go back straight into the weights um, after this week. Um, and then the final accessory in this video is going to be the Pendle Row. Um, I really like this because it's kind of the reverse of an ego lift. Um, you really have to focus on keeping the weight light, um, focusing on engaging your upper back and your lats, um, and just controlling the weight on both the eccentric and the concentric. Um, and finally, just some more comp squat here. Um, I think this is like 485. The first plates are 100 pound plates, so it's some amount of weight, 475 maybe. Um, but essentially here I have just was just noting that I've had a marked improvement in my comp squat um, I've really been doing a lot of comp squat instead of a considerable amount of variation I think that this has helped me a lot just in terms of my musculature and my leverages um, I feel like I need more practice in the comp movement because I've had so many issues with my technique um, So really the goal right now is to just build technique as much as possible um, And just continue to progress and really take everything to that next level um, hopefully this has been a good insight into what my week of training has looked like. Um, next week will be a bit longer and a bit more extensive um, and we'll dive some more into what my day-to-day -day training actually looks like. Um, thank you for watching and hopefully you'll join me next week.